Hey guys, quiet up again. I'm doing another Q&A since I got some odd and good questions. Um, also, I'd also like to tell you about an upcoming YouTube video show, I guess you'd call it. I don't really know what you'd call those things. Blog, journal, video journalism. All I know is that when I get finished with my costume, aka the wig, eye patch, gloves, um, maybe not earrings yet, I don't know. It's going to take a bit longer than I expected. Um, basically, I'll start with that. I'm going to be doing something called The Best Diary. Um, basically because I've been getting questions asked, people asking, how does Beth know Grell, Undertaker, of, knows Sebastian, and what Sebastian is, what Grell is, what the Undertaker is, what William is, questions like that, you know, because I, I understand I don't really explain it very well, but, but the Beth Diaries will help explain that. Um, basically the best diaries will be events that happen, like, during the first season of Black Butler, like, the actual anime season, but from her point of view, in a way. Well, me acting best, of course. Um, also, that also leads me to F my A and Q and A. Um, question two of it, so, basically... So when I finally get my wig and my eye patch, I can do it up the gloves for a while and the earrings. Um, basically what it'll be, it'll be like a video, well, who here, if anyone's seen the Grell show, you should really watch it, it's really, really funny, and I get props to those cosplayers, they're absolutely phenomenal. Um, it'll be kind of like, it won't be comedic like that, well, I'll try my best, but, um, it'll be more of inform informative and bring, like, a backstory to how she learned and became to know of the fact that Sebastian was a, de a demon, the Undertaker, Grell, William R., um, Grim Reapers, all, like, kind of be, like, kind of like stalker status, almost, of everything, you know, because in the story I do explain that she does follow her brother around, um, yeah, so, second part of F.A. q and I'm never going to get that right. Um, okay, Five Cat Five Cat asked again, what is your favorite flavor of mangoes? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna shock you with this when I do like mixtures, like purees. Um, I'll papaya mango, it's good. Um, I've had some like cheesy mango, it sounds good, but it's actually it's pretty good. But besides that, mango flavored mango. Yeah, and make sure they're not like if they if, if you ever taste the mango and it like tingles on your tongue that they're not good and don't eat them. Bad experience. Um, the second question was, oh, and do you like pickles or mustard? You spelled pickles wrong, by the way. Um, pickles, just plain pickles. You know, dill pickles, not the sweet pickles, which is disgusting. Um, but just pickles, pickles. Um, I hate mustard. Honestly, if someone was going to kill me and or ask me to eat mustard, I would rather die and go haunt the person who killed me and forced me to eat mustard. Um, hate mustard. I hate, actually I hate hamburgers, anything like that. I like pickles though, pickles are good. Um, and then, Secret Libra 39 asked me, could I talk about Catherine Baybell? Um, Catherine Baybell is her OC for her butler. She's basically a female version of Sebastian. She's a, here, let me pull up the information written by Secret Libra. Basically, she is a demon maid. <laughs> um, she has the same skills, talents, you know, the epic knives and forks throwing things of Sebastian. She was, um, well, I tweaked her personality in a way that she is, um, Beth, what, nurse, nurse, nurse maid, maid, I don't know what you really call them in that time period, but, like, think nanny, almost, when she was really, really little. So, because, you know, and if you read the story, you know that Beth has, was the bastard child of the late Mr. and Mrs. Phantom High, and she technically lived on her own because her parents refused to, to acknowledge her existence. Well, Beth, even though she is a demon, didn't form a con- well, Kate, sorry. She didn't form a contract with Beth, she just watched her because, well, she said, well, you want to learn in the 
coming chapter. Yeah, watch out for that. Um, one thing about her, she loved cats, just like Sebastian, but she hates men due to the fact that she was, um, um, yeah, she got abused and betrayed by a husband, or a human love. Yeah, she was an angel, a fallen angel turned demon to get revenge on the one who hurt her. Um, sorry if I keep doing this, it's just because it's getting it's kind of annoying right now. Um, so yeah, that's Catherine de Bell. Um, or Catherine. I'm guessing the name's French, so it'd be more Catherine de Bell. I, I speak Spanish, so I try, I do try my best in French. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm talking about my next video. So this is my next video. Um, Catherine de Bell will be a major character in her butler. She will be a part of the Phantom Hive household and workforce and she will technically be there to protect Beth in ways that even Sebastian couldn't because she does know certain things that because she did she technically raise Beth herself. So she'll know things that Sebastian won't and it'll help play into the story. Um, and, dude, if you want to make a cosplay costume for Catherine and videotape yourself and send me the link to your video, I would be thrilled. That'd be just great. You have no idea. That'd be awesome. Yeah, really cool. And anyone else who, that brings me to the best diaries again. Anyone else who cosplays, I need a Sebastian, I need a CL, I need a Grell, I need an Undertaker, I need a William. And, in a way, it'd be kind of like a video link between each other, like I pull up like back and forth conversations between Beth and the Undertaker and stuff like that. Technically videotape yourself in any way you can, anywhere you want really. I'll and if you want to, talk to me and I'll send you a script because I do write for the Beth Diaries. I have a Pluto already, so I'm sorry if anyone wanted to see Pluto because if you read her butler I do bring back Pluto. Um Pluto will be playing be played by Kenny Senpai once I get her costume together. Um, so yeah, the, that's that for the best diaries. Look for a more information tutorial for that if you really, really want to. I mean, please, I need help because there's no other cosplayers in my area that I know of. And so I live in a very, it, it's not, I wouldn't say small town, we have 100,000 um, inhabitants here, but there's not many cosplayers and we're in between like Los Angeles and San Diego, so any cosplayers in those two areas that, you know, kind of stuck in the middle here, out each way. <laughs> so there's kind of like, it's been kind of like a, like a dead zone when you come to like a cell phone area when your phone won't work. That's kind of what, where I live is for cosplaying. Um, Her question is, what is the weirdest thing I've ever eaten? Lutefisk. It's a Norwegian dish. I had to eat some at, um, I forget where I was. It's really weird, dude. It's like jelly but slimy at the same time. I don't know. Eh, it's weird. But Lutefisk. I don't know how to spell that. Um, If I could meet my favorite anime character, who would it be, and what would you do or say? Um, it would be Grell, honestly, because Grell is just awesome. He's just great. He's a gender-confused, grim death, death god. He's like, dude, come on, how how much more awesome can you get? Um, honestly, I don't know what I'd, what I'd do if I met him, because honestly, I don't know what type of situation I would be if I met him since he was Jack the Ripper, so it'd be kind of awkward, I guess. My second one, I'm just going to say, would be William, William T. Spears. The dude's just awesome. He's kind of like a killjoy, though. Um, but, you know, the dude's still awesome. I mean, they, ha you, they use gardening tools for crying out loud. It's like, how much more bad egg can you get? Um, and then her last question was, what was the ultimate? 
the ultimate dare I've ever done in the game of Truth or Dare, the ultimate dare, ultimate dare, if you haven't played Truth or Dare in a very long time, or at least clean Truth or Dare, <laughs> um, you know, there's certain games nowadays. Yeah. I don't know anything too gross, let's see, let me think. The ultimate Truth or Dare. Honestly, I can't remember. I haven't played it in years, so. Oh, uh, I might have, I don't know, how was I, let's see, when was the last time I played it? Well, I did, I think I did play it with my brother, I don't know, it's kind of a, I, I don't, I honestly, I can't say. Sorry. Um, <laughs> if I come up with it, I'll tell you. Maybe. Um, but that's it, so recap of this session, I guess you call it, I don't know. Um, when I finish my best Phantom Hive costume, um, I'll be needing a Sebastian. So any Sebastian cosplayer out there, this is a call out to you. Audition for it. I'm looking for a good Sebastian cosplayer. Someone who could act the character. Um, Grell. Someone act the character of Grell. Sounds close to Grell, please. Um, or, or at least, you know, act that way. William T. Spears, I really, he'll be popping in every now and then. You know, Killjoy and all. He'll be there at the moments where Beth or and Grell don't really want him to. Um, the Undertaker. The dude's awesome. Not dead. Um, CL. Eventually I'll be needing, well, since the Beth Diaries will take place in Season 1, we'll be needing a CL. Kind of as a voiceover, and occasionally you'll see him, but he'll never really acknowledge my existence. As I said, I am just a shadow in the midst of the darkness. Um, still working on her catchphrase thing. Um, I think that's all the characters. If I might later on need a Lao and a Madam Bread. So, anyone out there who does them, E2? I think that's all the main char major characters. Oh! Um, Bard, Mayrin, or Finny, anyone who does them. They won't be in a lot. Only the ones where I will be mentioning the Phantom Hive Manor. Or State, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So, that's it for now. I'm going to go to bed. I think, yeah, it's nine. Alright, so, see you later.